All right, let's do some quantitative analysis on the Genesis software in the image tab, which we're on right now. This is assuming you've already collected an image, adjusted the contrast and brightness, and this is your region of interest. Okay, so let's say we want to analyze this phase right here. We would click the crosshairs button and this option right here, and then click on anywhere on the phase. All right, and uh, we would hit this disk button and it'll begin collecting. Okay, our preset is uh, 20 clock seconds and our amp time is auto. That should be good enough. Over here are the options to identify peaks as they're being collected. Um, if you click on this, this will expand on those options and we can play around with this. Okay, so down here is our plot energy versus intensity, and as you can see, some of the peaks are already collected. The analysis is done. Um, see, the scale here is up to 36 kV. Uh, that's the preset home scale, and that's what this home button does. If you click on it, it'll bring you back to the scale, you know, just in case you get lost or you're a little too zoomed in. But you can manually adjust the scale with your mouse. So my mouse is right here in the middle. If you click and then drag and move over, you can adjust the scale. And the reason why we want to do this is that so that we can get all the peaks in this display easily visible. So here are all the peaks. They're nice. Okay, you can hit the automatic peak identification button right here so that the Genesis software can identify your peaks for you. Um, I'd like to caution though that sometimes it does get it wrong especially if there's peak overlap. So a lot of times I like to manually identify the peaks. So let's go ahead and do that. This right here is your element Z list. These are the elements it picked or automatically ID'd for you. So let's go ahead and delete them. So if you were to manually identify these peaks, you can use your mouse to click over, let's say for this one right here, click right at the middle of a peak and in, in this box it'll give you the possible elements that have energy lines at that in that area so in this case it looks like a silica K alpha peak so if you click on silica you can just add it okay then you can go over to let's start with this one this peak over here really low energy that looks like a carbon K alpha peak now carbon's present in the sample because this this uh, thin section is carbon coated. Okay, what you can also do too is uh, these buttons Z plus and Z minus. This is going up in atomic number from carbon. So the next element would be nitrogen, and then in, on the graph it'll show you where nitrogen's energy line would be or its peak, but it's not there. So we can go to the next one. And there's oxygen. So that's what this peak right here most likely is is an oxygen K alpha peak. So we can add that. Um, so you can either use the mouse to find your peaks manually. This looks like sodium. Or you can, you know, Z plus and keep going. So that's magnesium doesn't seem to be there. That looks like aluminum. So we'll add that. Okay. And then over here, let's find out what this one is. Okay. And, you know, I don't think americium, M, an M, americium M beta peak is there, but you can click on it just to see if it could possibly be that. But see these yellow lines over here? There should be peaks here as well, which isn't the case, so then it's most likely calcium. So we'll add that. So you've identified all the elements in this, in this phase. Looks like it's plagioclase. Um, this right here, calcium, has two energy lines. This is K alpha peak, and this is its K beta peak. And that's why uh, you see that little peak down here right next to it. Uh, you can choose to show the uh, K beta peaks as well by unclicking alpha lines only and then clicking on shell. So now you'll see, oh, let's, or, there we go. This will show you that, that this is the calcium K beta peak, calcium K alpha peak, and so forth. Okay. Um, a lot of times, since I'm used to it, I like to just show the alpha lines only and just the element. 
Okay. Now you can look at your Z list, which is right here. Um, f you need to choose the elements for your Z list in order to calculate the atomic percent and the weight percent of each of these elements. Now we don't want to include carbon because we know that we've coded the sample with carbon and it calculates the weight percent based on oxygen so let's not include that. Okay so then just leave these elements on your Z list and we'll hit OK. Now if you want to quantify uh, the elements in the sample you would hit this Q button right here. So this uh, window pops up and it'll give you the element weight percent and the atomic percent. And the atomic percent is useful because you can use it to predict formula units so when an element's part of a compound as it is here as part of a phase you can kind of uh, use it to predict the formula of that phase. Okay. Now what we do uh, or what I have my students do a lot of times is create a mineral or a micro analysis report and you can do that by pressing this W button right up here. Click it once, this image will appear, so this the image you're going to accept in the report. You can press this W button again, and what it does is it goes out to Microsoft Word and creates, there's a template that we've created, and it'll put your analysis and your image, your spectral analysis and its quantification all together on one document. Okay, so here's your spectral analysis, here's your uh, quantification and your image and where you analyzed and which phase you analyzed. And you can, it's a Word document, you can type in your name, all that stuff. Um, and then you can go ahead and save that uh, anywhere, create a folder for yourself. This is on the edX computer. So if you want to, if you want to extract this information, we can email you the Word file. Okay. And uh, here on the plot, I guess I just want to mention, if you ever want to go back to the original scale, just press this home button, and it brings you back to the original scale, and then you can just manually move this over again. And that's uh, Beginner's Quantitative Analysis in the Image tab. Thank you.